Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Miss Day. So we've been talking about clay and I wanted to show you some examples of pinch pots. Um, so I already showed you this one on the last video. Um, this is what uh, the clay is going to look like once it's been fired and before it's been glazed. So we're using, um, it's called white stone, but uh, we're firing it at a lower temperature. You know, there's different bodies of clay and um, we're using the earthenware, or at least we're firing it like it's earthenware. So this is the same white stone, but with a clear glaze. So you can see the difference after it's run back through with the glaze on it. Um, the pinch pots don't have to be round. You know, you can tap them onto the table or just shape it with your hand and make it into different um, shapes, whatever shape you want. This is like a little triangular shape. Um, it's got a triangular foot, triangle top. It's got these little kind of, I don't know, hook designs. Um, this one, of course, is, what, this is a pentagon. Uh, so, you know, you, you can, again, you can flatten the sides, uh, you know, press it onto the table and push on the inside to get your, your walls into a, a flattened shape. Um, you can add decorations to the piece. Um, the, the top, I tried to make it look like a little, a little flame. Um, and this is what I've been working on more recently is kind of more of an Egyptian uh, design. And this is probably my favorite pinch plot that I ever did. Um, I thought it turned out really well. It's got a cool flame for the handle. Um, the glaze turned out really nicely. And um, let's see, is that the way it goes? Since it's handmade, the lid's going to go a certain way. Um, anyhow, uh, so, you know, just hoping to get a little bit of inspiration going for you guys. Um, and I, the last video, I was unsuccessful when I tried to show you um, how to make the, uh, uh, the little flower that goes on the top. So I wanted to show you that. Um, so I'll just, I'll just do the whole thing again here. All right, so I'm starting with a ball of clay and uh, you wanna shape it you know, into a ball. Okay. So once you've got the ball here, then uh, you're going to stick your thumb in. Actually, that feels like a little piece that's a little bit drier, and I don't want it to get stuck in there. Uh, the clay needs to be pretty much the same consistency because um, it, if it if it's not, um, they're going to it's going to dry at different uh, different times. So, and you want it to all dry very slowly together. So I've put my thumb inside. And now I'm going to pinch and turn, pinch and turn. And this is just that first go round. Okay, so it doesn't look very pretty the first time you go around, but you're gonna keep going around and around, smoothing it out. Um, I usually rub my thumb along the inside And you know, here again, uh, you want to make sure that your nails are short. It's going to be very difficult to do one of these punch pots with long nails. Um, it, it it can be done. It's just it's just difficult. Tap it a few times to get that that flat um, area for the base, and um, begin to shape your pot. However however you would like, whatever shape you, you would like to do. Um, if you have little cracks, then you know you just get a little bit of water and rub the water on there. If it's significant, if it's a gap, you may want to put some slip and try to close it back up. Okay. 
Okay. So I've got the the washing machines on. That's the noise here in the background. And uh, of course the dog's over there eating too. You might hear the dog eating. All right, I'm gonna tap it a few times this direction to kind of flatten out that rim so I can see where it's too thick or too thin. So keep in mind you want it to be the same thickness all the way through um, because you want it to dry at the same time. Don't get it too thin because the clay will shrink, um, especially when, when it's fired. Uh, when it goes through the, the firing process, you know, this is going to be heated up to 2,000 degrees. So um, whatever gases or impurities that are in this clay, it's going to be compressed and it's going to come out. These The particles are going to compress together. So um, uh, all clay shrinks. I think some shrinks more than others. You just have to test it out or, or find out, um, especially if you're trying to do something super precise. Uh, you could roll, roll your piece to get it to round out a little bit better. You know, you can Press it even with your finger on the inside. Alright, so I'm feeling pretty satisfied with it so far. Um, I did notice like this kind of crack right here. I'm just going to put some water in there to make some slip. Make sure that I put some pressure. Make sure that that closes up and fills in. Okay. So I didn't see any other ones. Good. Okay. All right. So there's my pinch pot. Of course, I, I need I do need to work on the bottom of the pot. Uh, either put a coil, or you could just you know press it, press the little foot just by pressing in on the bottom of the pot, and leaving a raised edge. You'll kind of create your own foot there. it. I think it looks pretty good. A little bit of water to smooth out any of those areas. Okay. Alright. I still feel like a little bit of work needs to be done on this top edge up here. Smooth out the thickness. Okay. All right. All right, so for the lid, you remember um, I showed you to uh, create a slab. So I'm going to pull a piece of this clay off and I am going to roll it in a ball. And of course there's different ways that you can flatten it out for the slab. Um, 
you know, you, you can tap it on the table. And this clay is really wet. Um, you know, that Longhorn Red that I was using yesterday, uh, I think it was just a little bit too dry. Um, it was starting to get almost leather hard. Um, and then it would be very difficult to uh, work with at that point. Good time to carve, but not a good time to shape. Um, so you can also kind of hit it with the back of your hand here to pound it out. Um, you could also use a rolling pin. So this is just really big, but you know, usually I would put a couple of wood slats down and use the rolling pin to roll across it to even it out. Um, I just don't have enough room in this workspace to do that. So I'm just going to do it by hand. So I'm in here in the kitchen. It's too cold in the studio. So I came in here. There's no uh, central air and heat out there, so it can get really cold in the winter and really hot in the summer. All right, so that's gonna be my slab. So you can see the thickness there. Um, I usually go for about a quarter of an inch. Um, and then we're gonna see kind of where it falls. If I need to trim any off. Actually, I don't think it looks that bad. Um, it's a little, well, it is a little bit large, okay. All right, I, I will trim it a little bit here. Where'd my little tool go? Here we go. Okay. All right. Yeah, so I needed a little trim. Not much, but a little bit. Okay, this little spot right here. All right, so those little burrs, you know, is where you cut it with a toothpick or whatever, you can just smooth those out or wipe them off, however, however you wanna deal with that. So this is gonna be my slab for the lid. Um, and you know that we need to put a coil uh, on the lid so that it doesn't slide off. It keeps it from falling off the pot. So they should all have a coil on them. So the coil is going to follow the shape of the lid um, to hold it onto the pot. All right, so I'm going to set that here for now so it's out of the way. Um, and I'm going to use this to start my coil. And just feel like I don't have enough room here, but we're going to make do. So I'm just gently applying pressure, moving one way, oops, then the other. You know, if you need to use both hands you can. If it feels like it's not um, round all the way and it's getting like a flat spot, then just pick it up and put it on the side and kind of press down to even it back out. Um, all right, I think this is gonna do it. All right, so let's take a look at this here and see, oh yeah. Plenty, plenty, plenty of room. Okay. So um, if you've got a brush with a coarse, uh, you know, these are um, coarse, it's ox hair or something like that. Uh, those work pretty good with, with putting on the slip and making it real thick and scratching into the clay. And then I'm going to um, also paint some onto the coil. And of course, when I put the coil, I'm going to press down, you know, you want to press it into the clay. You don't want it to, to fall off when we start to 
uh, firing these things in the kiln. So I'm going to cut right there. I'm going to take this little that little piece off on there, so these will fit together nicely. Okay, I'm just going to make sure that it's pressed down. So you know we want it to keep the lid from sliding right off the pot. So, uh oh. I feel like I need to move it out a little bit more on here on this side. Okay, all right, let's see what this looks like. I'm gonna wipe this rim down. I wanna make sure there's not a lot of slip on there. I don't want it to stick to the pot. I have to pry it off. All right, so I'm just gonna check it and see if it looks like it's gonna fit. Yeah, that fits in there. Okay, and then let's see if it, if it, that's a pretty good fit. It moves just a tiny, tiny bit. I, I can live with that. So that's where it needs to be. I messed up the rim a little bit. Roll it out again. Okay. And I'm going to let that side where I just did all that work with the slip, I'm going to let it dry. All right, so let's look at um, the uh, little flower. Um, so the flower, it actually, I think it looks better when you do a fatter coil. It just makes the flower um, taller. So this is a, a lot fatter than the, the one we did previously. You just press it with your finger. And then, of course, you get the water. Put the water. That's what's um, going to make the slip, make the glue. Um, this surface is not the best. So, see if it's going to. Oh, good. Okay, it's not going to stick. All right. So, once you put the water, then you're going to just curl it up onto itself. So, this is going to be my centerpiece of my little rose. So, I'm rolling it up. Here we go, rolling it onto itself. Okay, so that's kind of cute. All right, if you don't like it, do it again. And I'm, I actually want to do it again. I don't like it this very, very much. I was looking for something a little bit different. I think that um, I want it to be even wider. Okay. All right. Let me put, press it down again. Make sure it's not stuck to the table. Okay. Um, I'm going to push down on one side to make it thin, a little bit thinner. And I'm going to try to make that side, the side that's the top of the flower. Um, I did it once before like this and I, I thought that it turned out really pretty. So I just pressed along that edge to make it more thin on that side. I'm going to be gluing primarily here. All right, so I'm going to start rolling it over onto itself. Well, let's see what it looks like. Okay, so that's kind of more of what I was going for, where the edge is a little bit more um, defined, like it, it stands up a little bit more, and then you can kind of curve it over a little bit if you wanted to. Just just know that if when the clay gets really thin like this, um, it doesn't take very much to break it. So um, try not to get it real thin. All right, and if I was going to put this on as my... Um, as the handle here, uh, remember, you know, we don't want any possibility of an air bubble. So um, I'm going to squeeze this here and I'm, I'm going to do some uh, 
some scoring here to try to really get this all filled in. I don't want any possibility of an air bubble because that will blow this thing right off the lid. It's not, it won't stick at all. Okay. All right. Got my slip. It still seems like it's a little bit... I don't think that's... Now we're getting where we need to be. Okay, because I don't want it to be sunken down there in that middle section. Okay. And I'm going to trim some of that off the edge there to get it in the middle. Alright, I'm feeling pretty good about that. Okay. Alright. Uh, I'm going to put it right here. There's my slip and my score. And we're going to press this and turn it. So I'm pressing it and turning it a little bit. So we want to make sure that it's going to stick. Okay, so press and turn. And it should, you should know if it's going to stick. You should know pretty quick. I'm actually going to kind of clean this up a little bit with a brush. Okay, so I'm going to test it out. I'm going to test it out. I'm going to actually try to pick it up. Oh. And make sure the lid doesn't get stuck to your pot. Okay, it works. If, if you're able to pick it up, then you know that it is stuck. Okay, awesome. So I'm thinking about adding maybe a couple of little leaves uh, there on the edge as well. So I'm just gonna tear off a little piece of clay and um, put some slip. Do a little bit of scoring here. Put the slip on that. And I'm gonna paste that right in there. Yeah, there we go. And I'll do another little one on the other side. Okay. Okay, and then I'm just shaping it like this. Um, I don't want it to be too thin. Okay, do my little scoring. Put my slip. I've already got some slip down here, but I'll put a little bit more. Push that over. Wiggle it a little bit. Nice. Okay, I think the children are in the other room tearing up the house. Okay, so there's the little, uh, there's the little rose. And um, the curly cue, you know, instead of rolling it, instead of rolling it and pressing it onto itself, you just roll it and, um, you know, use a, a pencil, um, your finger, and uh, just wrap it around and create a little curly cue. Um, it's it's actually pretty pretty easy. I'll I'll just show you real quick. I mean it's 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 easier than the flower. Uh oh. Okay, I'm stuck. I'm sticking. I'm sticking. So you're just rolling it over. This clay is getting a little dry, but. You can see, you just roll it into a little curly cue shape. You could use that as your as your handle. Of course, I I think I'd do it a little bit more substantial. I don't think I'd do it quite that thin, um, because you know the clay is going to shrink uh, when it's in the kiln. So hopefully that um, helped you. Good luck. I cannot wait to see the designs you guys come up with on your pinch pots.